this was years ago, over 10 years. Wow, time flies. It's crazy because what I'm about to tell you is forever burned into my brain. I deal with this on a daily basis. Didn't realize it was over 10 years ago. Huh. Well, anyway, I was young, stupid, thought I knew everything in life, you know. I'll never die, you know, type shit. I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to see something creepy, horrific, frightening, hell, even nightmarish. <laughs> I asked a few of my friends at the time to join me on this wicked quest to the unknown. Everyone talked a big game, but when it came down to it, they all backed out. So I did it alone. That night, I gathered a few candles and set them around me. I unfolded a piece of paper I found while digging for information on dark magic. You know, summoning things, summoning entities. It slipped out while I was flipping the pages. I'm not going to say what was on it or what it says. I don't want to be linked to anybody trying to do this and then having to deal with the same shit I do. It's not worth it. I lit the candles and waited until 3 a.m. Right on the dot. I said what was on the paper. As soon as I was done, a cold chill ripped through the room with a heavy, grimy smell. <coughs> then I heard the front door. This has to be a coincidence, I thought. I walked towards the door and said, Hello? Nothing. I put my ear on the door. I stepped back very quickly then heard what sounded like a child humming. I unlocked the door and swung it open. There was nothing, just darkness. I even checked around the front of the house just to make sure no kid was wandering around, especially around that time. But again, nothing. Went back inside, closed the door, locked it. Then sat there for a while, alone in deep thought. What the hell just happened? I crashed out an hour later. When I woke up, I felt like someone was watching me. I checked every room and found nobody, even the closet. But I couldn't shake off that damn feeling. I tried to keep myself busy, and before I knew it, it was 2.15 a.m. At that moment, my heart sank, and I felt like I was being choked. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> What the f- Right before 3 a.m., I was constantly checking the windows. Instantly, I heard the front door again. My lights flickered and I felt that cold air again. Holy sh- I stayed quiet. And then, this strange sound was coming from the other side of the front door. It was getting louder. Then, from the corner of my eye, I saw two red eyes. Now you belong to us. <laughs> he grabbed me by the throat and slammed me on the ground and said, Forever tormented. Then split my head open and climbed inside. I never felt such pain. I passed out right after that. <sighs> such agony, such pain. You may not believe me. He climbed into my head. Then now he won't get out. I woke up with my head pounding. I was hearing more voices. The voices got louder. I was seeing that face everywhere. Voices telling me to do things. Arguing about what I should eat. Every now and then I would hear the knocking. But the voices always have something to say. Invading everything I do. I can't get rid of them. The more time that passes, the more I hear. I may never get rid of them. I guess he was right. Like he said. Forever tormented.